days old. That's so small. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Hello, baby. So cute. Bye bye. Hi, guys. We are back here in Grandview Cottages Resort. And um, Brian's working building some cottages and gazebos. Hi, guys. How you going? I just want to share with you um, I'm cleaning up the uh, the cells of the uh, bamboo this is go go good go -ud. go -ud. it's very thick so these are used for posts um, it's the bottom part and the very solid part of the um, Kauaian bamboo so I'm just cleaning up we're not cleaning up all the um, bamboo um, because it's it's only a um, a roof structure uh, it's not anything uh, dressy but I found the best attachment is this attachment here for the grinder um, yeah this I find this is the best sanding uh, attachment for cleaning up I'll just give you a little demonstration of um, how it works all the safety gear very dusty earmuffs Voila. So you can see how easily um, that comes off and smoothens out the cells where the bamboo, the, the, um, they also shoot out from here, the branches for the leaves are out of the cells. So it's got a, a big knobby bit on there. And this is what I use to, um, to, trim. to trim off the um, branches that are that are out the side like this one here they come out the side that's what I use and then um, I grind the cell off but yep Ozito Reciprocal saw, whichever brand you use, um, that's a cordless one. I've also got a cordless cordless sander here, but you're doing a lot of sanding, so you might as well use 240. But in the Philippines here, you have brownouts all the time, so I've got the battery gear for when, uh, mainly for when there's brownouts, and um, I use a 240 most of the time, uh, only using the battery ones when. Uh, I've got a little job to do and I don't want to run leads out. So um, so this is the structure here for the glamping. So we're going to have a tent in here. We're just going to put a bamboo post, rails, rafters, and it's going to be a nipper roof, um, similar to all the nipper roofs around here. And it will keep the tent weathered um, out of the rain and the sun, so the tent should last hopefully a couple of years. Um, but it's got zips and they'll be the first things to go, I'm sure. But anyway, we'll give it a go. And if not, we'll turn it into, if the tent doesn't work out, we'll um, put some walls on it, some windows and doors. Turn it into a cabin. And turn it into a uh, cottage. A cottage, yeah. Yeah. So you've got holes in here. Yeah, so we're concreting the posts in. Mm -hmm. Go good? Go good. Go good. Go wood. So the go wood posts will be going concreted in so no termites can get at them. I'll put a little bit of um, termite kill in the holes first. Um, and these haven't been treated for borers, um, usually uh, selignum uh, just sprayed on. Yeah. So um, 
After we get them up, we might give them a spray with some selignum. Mm -hmm. Just don't want to be handling them. You, it's it's good not to spray them and uh, and then handle them. You know, you're better off finishing your project and then using the selignum. Even if you drill holes in the cells and spray it into the holes in the cells. It's good that you got you have this mango tree here. Yeah, it's a good time of the day to be working. Um, yeah, you're in shade. It's a good time to work in here under the shade. Yeah, shade of the mango. I had to trim a couple of branches this morning, but um, mm -hmm. I can see here. Yeah, but there's a native bees here. Yeah, the native bees are collecting the sap. Mhm. Mm I think they use it for making their um, their cells, uh, making their hive the um, sap from it. We were going to make platforms out of ply and steel or whatever, um, but we decided that we'll just dig into the side of the, the hill to get a level, because we're very slopey this block, um, the land here, so we're always working on a slope. So we found uh, retaining walls and cutting in um, is, is the best and cheapest way to go, uh, rather than building platforms.